people, they don't buy feelings, they don't buy crowns, they don't buy, they buy relationships and they buy the way that you treat them. We had an instructor when I was in school that basically his philosophy was if you do everything right, you take care of the patient, you treat them the way that you would want to be treated, and you give them great patient care, treat them like a patient, that the money will take care of itself. And uh, it's true. But I love dentistry. To be able to change someone's smile, to be able to affect the way they feel about themselves, to be able to have a patient come here and not have to be as anxious, that's huge. You know, the, the greatest part of it to me is the satisfaction you get every day by being able to change people's lives. Not very many people, you know, if you're working at a plant, you don't necessarily impact someone one-on-one -on -one the way that you can in a healthcare industry. And so to be able to really change someone's perception of themselves, change someone's um, idea about whether they like themselves or not because you've changed their smile, it's powerful. My name is Ed Hood. I'm a dentist in Denham Springs, Louisiana, which is a little town just outside of Baton Rouge. Two doctors besides myself, two associates, and three hygienists. Pretty big practice and really was at a point where I just didn't know logistically how to arrange things and how a day should really go. There's just so many things that you don't know about the business part of it and, and so we started looking into um, team training. I know that she and, and Dr. John had joined forces and were uh, consulting uh, and so we just completed our first year with them. We immediately almost got a 30 percent bump uh, and it's really been kind of an incredible ride. We are um, really doing numbers that I didn't think we would be able to do um, and are, are even looking at potentially opening another location because uh, we're almost out of capacity where we are. It, it, it's bridged that gap between those things that I already understood about the business of dentistry, but on another whole level, uh, like how do you see 10 new patients in a day? How do you distribute things with the new doctors? How do you have a new patient column? A lot of logistical things that you just don't learn in school. I've learned a tremendous amount and uh, really has, has allowed my vision to expand uh, to something that it, like I said, wasn't even on the radar screen before. We've been extremely uh, pleased. We signed up for another year, uh, and so we're excited about what the future holds uh, for me and my practice. Even though I'm 55, I'm starting to look at uh, not really slowing down. I'm, I'm looking at even ramping things up even more. So it, it's really been exciting, and uh, I I'm, can't wait to see what uh, the new year brings for us and, and my practice.